Hello everyone. It's an honor to be with you all to learn together again. Let's have fun studying the following contents together. The importance of feeling grateful and knowing grace. If you don't feel grateful, how are you going to remember grace? Think of grace. That only comes from your feeling gratitude. If you don't feel gratitude at all, how can you know if there is grace or no grace? If you don't know grace, then you are worse than a beast. The serious consequence of not knowing grace, the perishing of Buddhism. The one who knows grace is happy, is surrounded by love. In actuality, you go to gratitude, which is not that others are getting it, but you are ascending yourself. If you don't go to be grateful, or if you requite kindness with enmity, you are taking yourself downward, you are grateful, which is that you are sublimating yourself, and have nothing to do with the Buddhas and Master. If even this layer of gratitude is difficult to establish, it means you have not achieved a normal human personality. Those who do not know gratitude are cutting their own good roots. Why can he cut his own good roots? Because if you are the one who knows kindness, your good roots are not broken. If you don't know grace, your goodness is broken and you are cutting your good roots yourself. It's not easy to cultivate a little bit, but it's really quick to cut the root of goodness. When people are grateful, they even laugh unconsciously. Why do people laugh? It is only when we feel happiness that we will laugh, that is a natural state, and that is a state of happiness. We need to live in happiness all the time. In actuality, we are quite happy originally, but it is our demons that make us unhappy. In addition, learning to be grateful obedience is also very important and very wonderful. True gratitude is to do whatever people say, and especially to do whatever the good mentor says, immediately. If you do not have a truly grateful heart, every time you say you are grateful, it is just lip service, purely polite words, habitual words, or even false words. Therefore, my deeply ashamed repentance is often forced, and painful to obey, without grateful obedience. Without a truly grateful heart, whenever I say thanksgiving, it is merely lip service, purely polite, habitual, or even false words. I vow that I and all sentient beings, everywhere, in all times, space and places will be able to gratefully obey our parents, leaders, good mentors, the triple jewel, and even all sentient beings. And be able to always feel grateful, know grace, remember grace, and repay grace. Thanks so much. See you next time.